Brother Roop here. We are in Acts chapter 8, verse 31. And this is uh, Philip the Evangelist. He is jumped on the chariot of the Ethiopian eunuch and asked what he was reading. It was uh, He's just following the, 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 the leading of the Lord by uh, telling him to uh, talk to this man. Otherwise he wouldn't have because uh, the eunuch was a man of great importance, he said. Uh, people tend to shy away from people of great importance, especially that back then when you can get a lot of trouble bothering those folks. Okay, verse 31, it says, And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. That's another uh, wonderful aspect of the Ethiopian eunuch. As I said in my last video, both of these men are, are tremendous men of God. Uh, great humility. Both of them have great humility and a humble spirit. You know, the Ethiopian eunuch was reading the prophet Isaiah and didn't understand what the prophet was saying. And he was not ashamed to say that he didn't, he didn't understand. You know, he didn't have a prideful spirit that welled up in him and caused him to uh, deny it. He says to a perfectly good stranger, he says, I, I don't understand what I'm reading. And he's reading in his chariot aloud, and apparently he has great interest in the scriptures. Even though he's a eunuch and cannot be part of Judaism, uh, Deuteronomy 23.1 says that, uh, he's still worshiping in Jerusalem and reading scriptures anyway. Mm. That's dedication. The eagerness of Philip in, <clears throat> in preaching to the Ethiopian is a striking contrast um, to what Peter, the reluctance of Peter to preach to Cornelius, we'll see later on. You know, the Ethiopian eunuch is a Gentile. And even though he was a God-fearer, he was a Gentile. He was still a Gentile. And Jews tend to shy away from Gentiles. And Peter certainly shied away from preaching to Cornelius and God had to pretty much give him a vision and kind of a spiritual chewing out saying what's clean is clean I make clean and what and, and everything's clean that's what God told Peter but uh, Philip the evangelist what a great man he was he'd never hesitated and uh, he jumped up there and started teaching thank you